Hello, have you ever heard of a direct debit guarantee uh, or a direct debit indemnity? I hadn't either. Well, I mean, I'd kind of seen it written on virtually everything I've ever seen that has to do with a direct debit payment or bill and such. But I really didn't know what it was. And, and this is another one of these things that curiously in consumer financial services isn't really publicized, isn't really made known to us, isn't explained to us. And I found out what it is in quite a shocking way, and, and I want to tell you about it. One of our uh, most beloved uh, utility companies takes a certain amount of money from me every month for providing its services, and I noticed one month that they had built up uh, quite a large, for me, uh, balance of cash in their account, and they were carrying on taking these direct debits every month. And I called them up and I said, well, why are you collecting the debt direct debit every month when I have a positive cash balance. You're not a bank. Are you going to pay me? Are you going to pay me interest? And they didn't think that was funny. And they explained it was their policy. And, and I, I thought to myself, I calculated the billions that they must be holding in cash every day. What they must be earning off that from households all over the all over the country. Um, you know, uh, and it, it, I was just flabbergasted. And um, I didn't know what to do, and I, I, I wasn't going to stand for that. I called the, the wonderful, the marvelous Citizens Advice Bureau, and the lady there explained to me, she said, well, she said, yeah, this is a real problem, and people really don't know about it, and there just isn't any, like so many other things in finance, daily finance, human finance that affects you and me and all of us, it just isn't explained. She said, the direct debit is an accommodation that you make to these people, and if they misuse it, in other words, if they, number one, change the amount without discussing it with you, number two, take the wrong amount, uh, or number three, make any kind of error, all you have to do is ring up your bank and say, please reverse that, and the next day or so, the money from those direct debits will be back in your account. So I looked and saw that for many, many months, that just shows how inattentive and stupid I am, they had been taking this you know, small but still fairly large in the scheme of things amount for me every month. So I just said to my bank, would you please go back however many months it was and put the money in my account? They said, yeah, absolutely, certainly. And they did, and that was it. And now we're back to my paying the monthly bills by, um, you know, what I originally set out to do. So you may find that useful. Check all the accounts. First of all, check all your direct debits. Do you know that um, in their lifetime, it says in a recent study, the average British person, you're not going to believe this, loses 30,000 pounds in direct debits that they pay over their lifetime for things they don't use. And the biggest they said was a, like a 40 pound a month gym membership. But we all have direct debits and we forget about them and we just go on paying them. So look through all your direct debits. I looked through mine and I found several that I didn't even remember that I had and I stopped them <laughs> pretty quick. And uh, stop the ones that you're not using and check the balances in the accounts of the ones that you have. And if you find out that other people are holding on to your money and you shouldn't be paying them, call your bank and tell them to reverse it. Thank you.